up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Today, I'm just over here in a parking lot at a metro. And I wanted to talk a little bit about something that I get asked a lot on my Instagram. Uh, and a couple of times on my YouTube channel, actually. People seem to want to know where I got this sissy bar from. I personally really like the sissy bar that I have here just because uh, I wanted something that was really tall. This guy here had a very different look than most of the sissy bars that I've seen. So I wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about it. So where I got the sissy bar from, it's not a company, but it's a, I think it's just a, a guy from, that I found on Etsy building out these cool sissy bars. And so when I did my Google search, this was one of the first things that popped up. I saw the image online, really liked the look of it. So I clicked on it and then found out that he builds sissy bars for a lot of different bikes, uh, mostly Harleys. And so I fell in love with what is called the Pointed Traveler. So a few things that I wanted to talk about was price, uh, insulation, what I use it for. I just wanted to talk about quality a little bit as well. So let's talk about price. It's $230. I can't remember if I paid shipping or not, but um, I don't think that's the most expensive sissy bar that I've seen, but it's not. It's certainly not the cheapest. I wanted to go with the sissy bar that you know I knew that was going to be easier to install. Um, I've installed a few cheaper parts on my Harley and like sometimes the bolts are, are cheap and they break off or it just doesn't fit quite right. Didn't want to have to mess with all that. I uh, wanted something that was easy to install and it sure was. I think he builds them by hand, which is very cool. You're, you know, you're supporting individual people during this tough time right now. That's, that's pretty cool. So I got it and like the quality was top notch. You know, I, this is the only sissy bar that I've had, but uh, from what I could tell, everything seemed really nice. Of course, you know, over the, the few months that I've had it, it's got, you know, it has a few scratches. I don't know if you can see that there. But I've certainly gotten a lot of use out of it, and it's been, it's held up great. Insulation was super easy. Just put it on top, um, attach a few bolts here and here. So yeah, insulation, super easy. The quality is great. The looks, I, you know, I guess the reason why I get asked a lot where I got it from is people, is people like the looks. Now, if you guys go on his website, he does make like really cool custom sissy bars as well. He makes ones that have designs um, on the back here. But check out his site, guys. You know, just shoot him a message. He'll get back to you. And uh, I think he can kind of build out with, you know, custom sissy bars if you're into that kind of thing. I just went with a standard, whatever he had at the time. So like I said, I've had it for a few months now. It's held up really well. You know, I usually use a backpack. Sometimes you don't want to wear a backpack all the time. So I just, you know, got the sissy bar for that. I also got it in anticipation of going on a few camping trips, which I haven't done yet, but I've done a couple of long trips and it's really nice to have. Another great use I've gotten out of the sissy bar is you, know, you can attach different kinds of mounts on it. You might have seen a few of my other videos where like you get um, side views of other riders or back views. And so I usually just attach like GoPros with a, with a clamp mount um, in the back here. Serves perfectly for that. But yeah, I think that's the video. Um, check out Edward Ritchie on, on Etsy. He makes really dope looking sissy bars. That's it for me today. Thanks for checking out the channel. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.